and I ran across these little guys. So these are mini PCs. They're made by AOpen, and they're actually meant for Media Center. So I originally got one of them because my wife was fed up with the Xbox in the living room because they're loud and noisy, right? And so these guys sold this as a as it got a surround sound component video came with XP. It's like it's a, they're a couple years old now, and uh, 500 bucks. So I bought one. And I started experimenting with it. Then when Vista came out, I thought, oh, I'm going to throw Vista on this thing. And I accidentally installed the 64-bit version of Vista. And it worked. And I thought, huh. So I threw 2008 64-bit on it. And that worked, too. So these are dual-core um, Intel Core 2s, 4 gigs of RAM, gigabit Ethernet port, and, uh, and a 1.8-inch, 7200 RPM, 250 gig hard drive in them for about 500 bucks. So I basically built out uh, four of these things. We've got a, a load generator, a pair of web servers, and a database, and uh, all the networking hardware. And it fits in this bag, right, which I carry on the airplane. I could nickname this bag secondary inspection, because that's what the TSA calls it. Um, well, you know how they say when you go through the you go through the belt, you, you know you get up to the belt. They say take all your laptops out. So the first time I came up with this bag, I thought, well, they're technically not laptops, but okay. Well, it turns out if you were standing with a line of people behind you and you opened up a bag and every bag every machine has to be in its own bin, so you're like, I need seven bins, please. Here's my laptop and here's one of these machines and another one. Those guys will kill you. Well, there's more of them than there are the TSA. So I just leave the bag closed now, put it through the machine. Then I, quick, I put, I put you know, my stuff through, put the machine through, the bag through last. Then I quickly go through the uh, metal detector. So I went on the side and I just watch the guy, right? When my bag goes through, he goes, <laughs> And then I wave, hi, I'll see you down there. Well, the secondary inspection. The other thing I've learned about this is when you're confronted with a TSA with a bag that frightens them, be really excited to show them what's in it. Wait till you see this bag. It's the greatest bag ever. No, really, it's full of miniature computers. They're really cool. And after a couple of minutes of that, they're like, okay, you need to get away from me. <laughs> We're not supposed to be this cheerful of TSA. Although I had one German border guard trying to take one. I think I may need to confiscate this. Uh, yeah, he liked it that much. But, uh, and I had one guy who broke the whole bag apart and did scan every piece of it one at a time. That was fun. But for the most part, they look at it and go, you're obviously an idiot. You can't possibly be dangerous. Off you go. So, uh, and that's the consequence of this rig. And on the road trip, it's been really great to carry along. But I've done all kinds of demonstrations with this and, and also done whole day labs on how to tune websites where we just go through the process over and over again. That's why I bring the access point along so everybody can participate in it. But uh, I wanted to show you what 2010 Ultimate really uh, offered in terms of working with websites. 